So are you sick of swat and bugs this summer? Joining us live is Michael Draney, a biology professor at UWGB, to talk about a few of the bugs we're seeing this summer. Uh, Michael, thanks again for joining us. And I understand you have, uh, yeah. you have some earwigs in a jar. Is that what I have heard? Yeah, first I do want to show you, though, a, a fishing spider, which is what you showed before. I oh, forgot yeah. I had one that's preserved in a, in a vial here. This is how we preserve spiders for scientific study. It's in a, a jar of alcohol, just ethyl alcohol. And this is about how big they get. This is about as big as a spider gets in Wisconsin right here. Now, you, uh, your, your wife is a professor, too. Is that right, or am I wrong about that? That's right. Yeah, she's an ecologist, and she's the associate director of the Coffrin Center for Biodiversity. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, yeah. like, like my wife always asked me to, to kill the spiders. Uh, does she do that to you, you at home, or does she take care of it? No, nobody kills spiders okay. in our house. Okay, you're right. I understand. Well, what was I thinking? We have spiders all around. Here's one that I just caught today and in my house. They're, they're living all around. This is called a cellar spider, and they're completely harmless, and they keep the insects down. If you, if you have one spider like this, it has to eat 40 insects in its life, and so you have a lot fewer insects in your house if you tolerate a few spiders. Yeah, very true. What, uh, now, yeah. uh, let's talk about earwigs, because are we seeing those yeah. a lot this time of year? Yeah, absolutely, and especially this uh, year with the mild spring seems to be a really good year for the earwigs, so they, I expect them to be really abundant. This is uh, the earwigs over here in the uh, insect case here. Uh, they are not native to Wisconsin, they, like a lot of us. They're immigrants to Wisconsin, um, and they like to eat um, small plants at night. They're nocturnal herbivores, and they are kind of hard on lettuce, and also on your hostas. Oh. Um, is but other than that, they're harmless. Uh, they, they have these little pincers here, but those really cannot hurt you. They, they, they're just really gentle. And people are afraid that they're going to get in your ears because they're called earwigs. But that, that's really, they're called that because they have wings that sh are shaped like human ears. Oh, OK. And so they're originally called ear wings. And huh. somehow it got turned into earwig. What, what do you have there on your finger there? Yeah, these are a couple of my pet uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches, which are sort of distantly related to the earwigs. And I just thought I'd show you those. Th these are really nice for uh, teaching people about insects because they're very large, but they're very gentle. Um, they can't live in your house. It's too dry. They can't live outside because our winter is too cold. So they're just good pets how many, if you're interested. How many in of those do you have as pet. pets, Michael? <laughs> I have about five pounds of them uh, in a 10-gallon aquarium. So my, oh my. These are just a couple of stars that we have, yeah. I have no idea how many. Oh. How about, uh, <laughs> let's talk about paper wasps. Uh, we have a picture yeah. of that uh, up on the screen. Um, yeah. yeah, are we seeing those? Yeah, um, just, just like usual, it seems. I don't think it's a particularly good year or anything, but I just wanted to to show people that there's a lot of different kinds of things that a lot of people call bees. But really, bees are only the fuzzy ones that are vegetarians and live in, uh, feed on flowers, nectar, and pollen. And they're more or less harmless. Paper wasps are wasps, but they're also fairly harmless. They, they're the ones that build the little paper umbrella um, underneath your eaves of your house. The only ones that really can give you trouble are the yellow jackets, which live in very large colonies and can be fairly aggressive. And those are the ones that show up um, at your picnic and, and try to steal some of your food. Is that, are those the ones that are attracted to, like, if you put some soda uh, in a can, they'll go for that? That's right. That would be the yellow jackets. The paper wasps are not really interested in that. The paper wasps are a little bit larger. And um, they, they are in fairly small groups and are really not very much of a problem at all. I just would let them go if they were um, by your house. And Michael, uh, tell us about that uh, conference or the event you have going on at GB next month. Yeah, so that's July 20th to 24th. It's the annual meeting of the American Arachnological Society, a group of scientists who study spiders and scorpions and, and related animals. And they're coming from all over the country and all over the world to share their scientific findings with each other. And we'll also have a public night on Sunday, July 22nd, around 7 o'clock at UW-Green Bay. And one more time, can we see that um, Madagascar, what is it, the, the hissing cockroach on your hand? Yeah, these are the hissing cockroaches, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Um, they, they make a hissing noise like a snake if they're bothered, but um, these ones are so tame they probably won't do it. This is the boy with the little humps on his back oh. here, and uh. this over here is the girl that doesn't have the humps smooth here. So that's Very a boy cool. and a girl.
Well, thanks, Michael. You've, uh, you've grossed out my co-host Rachel here, but that's okay. I have the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> thanks, Michael. I'm sorry thanks. to hear that. But if, yeah, thanks. Did you say goodbye yet? Yes, I did. You can <laughs> uncover your face. <laughs> oh, and those earwigs are my least favorite. I like want to rip out my day lilies. Aren't so they you think... happy that they're not earwigs because they don't rest in your ears? I'm is so because happy they're... to hear that. So, yes, that was because you, know, so, you go around like this, don't that you? That's good information. Yeah, it is. No, very knowledgeable uh, guy, but.